Okay. So, um, all right. So uh, you're driving the slides. So I will verbally press forward on the slides as we do this. Um, uh, welcome, everyone. I am uh, thrilled to announce the to be able to sort of introduce the the Wiki the Wikimedia Foundation Research Award of the Year, or WMF Ray uh, Award, as we're calling it, and. Uh, uh, the awards themselves, the papers will be announced by Jimmy Wales, I think is, uh, is he here yet? Or I think that's the Yes, I'm here. Oh, you're here, great. Um, so I will turn it over to you. Um, but before I do that, Jimmy, I'm going to introduce the, a little bit of background into the award itself. Um, all right, so let's move forward. The goal of this award is to, is, uh, to uh, so this is the first year, um, but it, this is, this is a, uh, we've committed ourselves to an annual award to recognize research that has been done, uh, um, that has the potential to really significant, significantly impact Wikimedia projects and research. The committee for this year was myself, along with uh, Aaron Shaw at Northwestern University and Leila um, Zia, who's of course, uh, here and just introduced myself. Um, Aaron uh, would be here, but uh, had a baby a couple uh, weeks ago, uh, and has and is has his hands full, literally. Um, I think uh, the award. Uh, there's sort of moving forward. There are sort of three eligibility criteria that we articulated. The first was is that the work should be about using data from and or important to the Wikipedia, Wikidata, and uh, um, communities or to other Wikimedia projects. The work should have been published within the um, sort of 2020, the previous calendar year. So in this case, sometime in uh, the year 2020, um, the manuscript must have uh, uh, the have a be available in um, in an English translation, mostly as a function for the award committee to be able to um, ensure that we could read it. Um, and authors uh, should have no conflict of interest with any of the members of the award co uh, committee, which. Uh, um, I'm sure is the only reason why all of you uh, who did not receive the award is the, uh, were disqualified. There was in fact some really great research done by our collaborators. Um, the, uh, um, we, the committee, I don't know, I, you know, I'll speak for myself, was this was more work than I was expecting. Um, uh, there were an enormous number of really, really great papers that, um, uh, and pieces of research that, we, that were identi uh, identified and reviewed. There, um, uh, we, they came in three different ways. There was a public call for nomination and a bunch of really great work was uh, sort of sent in to us by, um, by readers and researchers. The, um, uh, we went through all of the research that was covered in the Wiki Research Twitter account, which you should be following and subscribed to if you are not already. Um, and then we also did an additional sort of Google Scholar search where I sort of hit next page, next page until we ran out of things to make sure that there was another really great work that we um, had missed. Um, to move forward, um, one thing that we found was that there were sort of two kinds of papers that were uh, that, that, that we ended up having to sort of consider. One type was uh, we found that there was this really large body of excellent research that seeks to understand Wikimedia projects, often using data from projects like Wikidata or Wikipedia. Um, a lot of that is work that you know you hear about at the Wiki workshop. Um, uh, and then there was this even larger, in some sense, body of research that may not have directly involved Wikimedia projects, but which really had the potential to impact Wikimedia and uh, in the future, and which really contributed towards the sort of broader Wikimedia uh, movement's goals and missions. And I think that we as a committee spent a lot of time trying to sort of because we found really great examples in of both of these kinds of papers and trying to figure out uh, which one we sort of wanted to honor. And we decided this year that we were going to give the award to two uh, papers, one from each of these groups, one to each of the most impressive, impressive example of each type. So um, uh, if you move forward, um, two, uh, I guess like, uh, Couple uh, things to announce uh, to announce about the award. One is is that there is a physical award. So many of you uh, who are sort of community members or researchers will know that Wikipedians give each other virtual awards called barn stars, which are pictures of these iron stars, which are attached to buildings uh, and barns as decoration. We will be sending physical barn stars to each of the winning examples of research, which means that we will have to record. We will have to. Get an address in which we can send these things, um, uh, but we've uh, we have procured uh, um, barn stars and we'll be sending those out. Um, uh, 
someone gave me one, a physical barn star once, I have it on my desk. Um, uh, it unfortunately was not for winning uh, for doing such a great piece of research. Um, um, but think of how much more this will mean to you. Um, uh, and uh, uh, with that, um, I'm ready to turn it over to Jimmy to announce it. Um, I will say that I think that our the process moving forward uh, for, is going to be that um, Jimmy will introduce each of the awards. Um, and then once the award is announced, we should all unmute and uh, um, clap visually and uh, audibly <clears throat> for the person. And then uh, we've invited the authors to speak for uh, two or three minutes. Uh, um, to, to, I have no idea what they're going to say, to um, uh, speak to us as a group. And I think that um, that's the plan. So with no further ado, um, uh, let's move forward. It's, it's, it's up to you, Jimmy. Okay, fantastic. So uh, thanks, Mako, for the introduction. Now I have some uh, lovely text that they wrote for me and I am gonna read that out and you'll be able to tell I'm just reading it. But I'm going to add a few remarks of my own, and I want you to know that I did actually read both of these papers today, uh, and I've got a couple of personal remarks to add as well. But I thought I'd better read the official uh, announcement. Um, so our first award goes to an innovative project that shows casual evidence of the relationship between increases in content quality in the English Wikipedia articles and subsequent increases in attention. I think it's causal evidence. Uh, the researchers conduct a natural experience using natural experiment using edits done on the English Wikipedia via the Wiki, Wiki Education Foundation program. The paper shows that English Wikipedia articles that were improved by students in the program gain more viewers than a group of otherwise similar articles. It also found that this effect spills over into a range of articles linked to from the improved articles. The Wikimedia Foundation's mission has two parts, one, disseminating knowledge, and two, encouraging people to engage in the production of new knowledge. This work provides new evidence that links these goals in an exciting way. From the Wikimedia Foundation and Wikimedia Movement's perspective, the paper provides strong evidence to support a range of content improvement efforts. Although it might seem like there's a tension between focusing resources on improving content that is poorly developed, but also currently unpopular, and putting efforts toward things that have more viewers and higher audience already, this work suggests that content improvement efforts focused on content gaps, that is areas where coverage might be less strong than it could or should be, can create new audiences for that content. For all these reasons, we award the WMF Ray 2021 to, dun, 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 Content Growth and Attention, Attention Contagion and Information Networks Addressing Information Poverty on Wikipedia. Now this is gonna be, I'm gonna make my personal remarks now. When I read this, I was very excited. So for a very long time within uh, the Wikipedia world, the Wikimedia movement, uh, we have various efforts uh, to do targeted content creation. And oftentimes people look at these efforts and they say, oh, well, look, we got people to come and they, they made a bunch of content. It wasn't that great. What is the point of this? Does it really do it? Is it about training new editors? What is, what is this all about? Is there any evidence that it actually works? And the answer is yes, there is evidence that actually works. And this is important, not just because great, we've got more knowledge about more areas that we don't have, but it's actually about encouraging those spillover effects, encouraging more editing in areas that we don't have. This will help us in many ways to address some of the uh, imbalances that we see. So uh, uh, gender uh, balance is actually a very good example. Um, if we can create content that is of interest to a new category of people, then they aren't just reading the stuff that a bunch of uh, geeky boys made, uh, but we get a much wider range of people. And this, this on all levels of equity is really important. That's why this is really important research. Uh, it says that Mako will call for everyone to clap, but I think I'm gonna call for everyone to clap. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Very good. Oh yes, that makes everybody pop up. Ah, wonderful. Uh, wonderful. And someone's even typing clap, clap, clap in the chat, which is absolutely perfect. Um, so we'll just go on now to the next one. And then I guess we'll do the, the photo. The second award goes to a paper, uh, authors and a community that has attempted to fundamentally change how we approach the challenge of low resource languages in Africa. The research describes a novel approach for participatory research around machine translation for African languages. The authors show how this approach can overcome the challenges of these languages. The work of the authors and the community is an inspiring example of work towards knowledge equity, one of the two main pillars of the 2030 Wikimedia movement strategy. As a social movement, we'll focus our efforts on the knowledge and communities that have been left out by structures of power and privilege. We will welcome people from every background to build strong and diverse communities. 
We will break down the social, political, and technical barriers preventing people from accessing and contributing to free knowledge. We cannot think of a better or more inspiring example of a project from the last year seeking to achieve these goals. Additionally, we see the success of this project as something that will directly support a range of Wikimedia Foundation and Wikimedia movement goals, including the newly announced abstract Wikipedia, which rely heavily on machine translation tools. Uh, for all these reasons, we award the WMF Ray 2021 to participatory research for low resource machine translation, a case study in African languages and the uh, Masakane community. Now, my personal remarks, when I read this, I was very excited. For many, many years, people say to me, I'm not giving a speech or I'm talking to a journalist, and they say, oh, yeah, great. But what about machine translation? Isn't that really great for Wikipedia? And what I say to them is, you know what? Uh, and I, I didn't know this term, uh, low-resourced, but that's a great term. What I said to them is, okay, look, yeah, machine translation, I use it day-to-day, uh, -day, Google Translate or whatever. And it's gotten to be, eh, it's not good enough, but it's gotten a lot better, but it's only better really in what you might call the economically important languages. So if you wanna do translation from English to Spanish and back, it's actually not too bad, but guess what? We have huge communities in the English language Wikipedia. We have huge communities in the Spanish language Wikipedia. We don't really need machine translation in the same way that we might in some of the new and emerging communities of Wikipedia those machine translation tools are very bad. They're not good, they're low resourced. So this kind of research talking about the way a community can help with that and improve that, it's like super important because it will mean that we can get better machine translation tools that are actually useful to those emerging communities uh, where you know they don't really wanna use some terrible translation tool that doesn't really work. So fantastic. Another round of clapping, please. Yay. Yay! Very good. And uh, this is this is actually one of my favorite parts of my role in the community. I always joke that I'm like the, the queen of the UK. I, I don't try to take credit for anything. I don't do anything, but I get to be the person who comes and congratulates people and hands out awards. So thank you for allowing me the privilege of just uh, meeting with the people who are doing the real work. Uh, it's really wonderful to be here. Thank you. And I think that um, uh, I, I wanted to give the authors of the paper who uh, uh, we have representatives from both groups uh, that are here. So I wanted to give um, the authors of the papers, to, uh, um, I don't know, to say anything that, that they would like. I see that um, uh, maybe let's start with the first one. So um, Kaiju, Kaiju, you're here. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I'm here. So, uh, so uh, thanks. Uh, it's really an honor to receive this uh, recognition for our work. Uh, so our study look at the knowledge gap on Wikipedia. Uh, as I'm sure we can all agree, uh, Wikipedia has fundamentally changed the way uh, knowledge has been uh, produced, disseminated, and consumed. Right? It's, it's amazing, but at the same time, uh, it's not perfect. So while the community governance and the open collaboration model of Wikipedia uh, confer many benefits, but its uh, decentralized nature um, can leave question of knowledge gap and information skill uh, to the system of nature dynamic. So we study uh, how a policy that focus editorial effort uh, to be complementary and they can never just be over of attention uh, and ultimately uh, act to alleviate knowledge gap on Wikipedia uh, in the Wikipedia article network. Right. So, so finally, I just want to say that um, like bridging the knowledge gap and uh, addressing equity issue on Wikipedia, I, I guess that more broadly on internet, Right. It's, a, it's a such an important topic. So, so my cause and I will continue to work in this area. And, and I know it has been a, like a strategic focus of the Wikimedia Foundation. And I hope just more and more people will find it interesting and important and decide to uh, contribute to solve this uh, problem. Thanks. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. Uh, um, uh, I don't know if there, I, I'm not sure who's, I think there's a number of people here from the second paper, so I'll turn it over, whoever would like to, however you guys want to coordinate this. Uh, Bonaventure, I think this is you. Okay, um, so uh, on the behalf of all Masakani members, um, I, Bonaventure do so, I'm truly honored to be standing here with uh, Chris Emezuye, 
to receive this um, Wiki Foundation Research Award of the Year. You know, um, Masakane is a very big family where I can see that we get each other's back. Like we have a huge focus on personal development, but on a community level. We don't really care about who is a senior or whatever. We work together as one well to make sure that everybody learns and everybody's moving uh, together. So like through activities like mentoring section, uh, group weekly um, NLP studies. So I believe that this award is dedicated to each of us. I believe that this award is dedicated to our daily effort that we do to make sure that AI is decentralized and is used for the benefit of everybody. I also believe that this award is a huge win and a step forward in our daily goal of putting Africa on the uh, world's NLP map. So uh, thank you again for this prestigious award. We are truly honored. And before handing it over to Chris, then I would just like to say something a little bit motivational that you guys all the world should get ready because we are only getting started and yeah, we are coming for more. Thank you and I leave the, 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 the floor to Chris. Um, thank you very much, Bonaventure. Um, I also want to add on behalf of the Masakane community, I want to add that Masakane is built on love and creating an encyclopedia that's more inclusive of African languages. I was listening to the Wikimedia talk and they were talking of Wikimedia is built on love. And that was really, really wonderful to hear that because Masakani is also built on this love and working to include African languages on the NLP map. With over 400 participants from about 30 African countries and abroad with diverse fields, our core values are based on participatory research. We work on the philosophy of I am because you are. And that's why in Masakane, you are part of this large but coordinated family of super awesome experts with different fields working together. For example, me and Bonner, we joined as undergraduate students and they're like experts in linguistics, computational linguistics, um, um, computer science, machine learning, and they treat you as, you know, as equals. And that's one awesome thing about Masakane. So, I want to end. If you're inspired to work on African languages, you can always come to Masakane. If you have a project you want to do and you want to involve African languages, because in the world right now, there is talk about algorithmic fairness and AI fairness and ethics, which means including more um, low resource languages in, in machine learning and NLP. If you need help with authentic experts, annotators or translators of African languages or native speakers, because in the panel discussion, there was a talk about the importance of having native speakers of these African languages and we're using Kiswahili. So native speakers to you know, work on the language with you. So if you need help with that, you can always come to Masakan. And lastly, if you want to be part of a super motivated, humble, and forward-thinking community, you're free to come to Masakani. Once again, on behalf of the Masakane community, we express our profound gratitude to the Wikimedia Foundation for this prestigious award. Thank you.